everybody. Today I have a very simple but very useful Photoshop tutorial for all of you who want to know what is the best way to isolate an object or a person over a white background. As we all know, when we take pictures of objects or people over a white background, we expect the background to be, well, white. But that's never a case. It's always some shade of grey. So, if we want our pictures to look professional, we have to make that background really white. To be honest with you, there is no universal way to do this. But I can show you the technique that I'm using all the time. It's really fast, it gives great results, and it works really well even with objects that are light color or people with blonde hair. So, let's get to it. This image of a dog sweater was taken by me for the website mydogsweater.com the place where you can order custom sized handmade sweaters for your dogs and uh, the sweaters always fit perfectly since you send them the measurements and they make the sweater just for your dog so I'm gonna click new layer icon to create a new layer this is gonna be our background I will select white color as a foreground color and I'm gonna use a paint bucket tool to fill this layer with white. Just one click with a paint bucket tool will fill the layer with white color and I'm gonna drag that layer now below the layer with a doggy sweater. I'm gonna select the doggy sweater layer and use the lasso tool to make a quick rough selection around the sweater. The selection doesn't really have to be precise or close to the sweater or any object that you're trying to isolate. It's just to get rid of this background by clicking on the layer mask icon and now as you can see the whole background is white except this grayish edge around the sweater. So I'm gonna select the layer instead of the mask and I'm gonna use the dodge tool. I'm gonna select highlights so the tool affects only highlights. Leave the opacity to 100% and uncheck protect tones. I'm zooming a little bit and I'm going to this bottom edge to get rid of this grayish background around the sweater. The tool knows that it needs to make highlights even lighter than they were before because we chose highlights in the tool options. At the same time the sweater will basically stay intact because it's darker. So changing the size of the brush also affects the way this tool works because if you choose the smaller brush, the edge of the effect will be sharper. If you choose the bigger brush, then the, the edge will be softer. It's much easier to work here on this side because the background is really, really light and the sweater is much darker. So over here it goes really, really fast. This doggy sweater is not really fuzzy but I can tell you that you can use this technique when you are isolating people over white background even people with uh, blonde hair. I did it many times and it looks really natural because the hair even if it's blonde is usually different enough from the background and rarely anybody has really really white hair so I'm almost done here and it took me about I would say a minute and a half to finish this sweater if the edges of the object you're isolating are sharp it's gonna be much faster than this let's see another example I have this picture of a butterfly that I took in Mexico on the street and this should be even easier because the butterfly is dark and the wall is pretty white. So 
I'm gonna make a new layer again. I'm gonna fill it with white with the bucket tool. Just one click, the layer becomes white. I'm gonna drag it down below the layer with the butterfly. And I'm gonna use the lasso tool again to make a rough selection around the butterfly. As I mentioned before, the selection doesn't have to be really precise or really close to the butterfly. I'm going now pretty close, but you don't have to do that. So now when we have a selection, I'm going to click on the layer mask icon. And I'm going to select the layer instead of the mask. Now the dodge tool again, highlights, exposure 100% and I'm checking protect tones. So I'm going to zoom and I'm going to use a pretty big brush now because I'm not afraid that the, the butterfly will be affected by the tool and as you can see it goes really fast. Good thing about the dodge tool is that you don't have to be really precise like with other selection tools when you want to select an object. Only in these little areas where you kind of have to pay more attention but still these wings are really dark so even if I go over the wing a little bit with a tool, that's not gonna affect the color or the tone or the lightness of the wing. So I'm going, as you can see, around the butterfly and I'm basically doing it in a sloppy way, but it comes out perfect. You can see even these little hairs here. Now again I have this little area here where I have to be more precise so I'm going with a very small brush. It's not really important if I uh, lose some of these hairs over here because rarely anyone will notice that there was some hair over there. Now I'm zooming out, I'm using a bigger brush going in a sloppy way again and that's the best about this tool you're gonna have to <laughs> really pay attention and focus so much on what you're doing now this little area here again with a small brush now again you probably notice that this picture is underexposed since these uh, white spots on the wings are not really white but that's not really important for this tutorial just be careful not to leave anything around the object that is not completely white with, uh, with an object like this that is really dark you can easily isolate uh, thin parts of the object like like these antennas here I can do them with a big brush and they will still come out perfect or I can use a smaller brush if I'm really careful about the, the final look but the good thing about this tool and the object like this is that if you try to use any kind of selection tool to isolate these antennas it will hardly come out nice like this because the antennas in this case are kind of out of focus so you would have to adjust the feather of the selection and uh, with the dodge tool you don't have to think about that or lose time experimenting what is the best way to do it you just paint around the antennas and and they will look perfect. These areas here again have to be done with the small brush. Now I can already use a bigger one. It's so easy. 
zoom out a little bit. Use a much bigger brush. Whiten this quickly. Now zoom a little bit more. Use a little bit smaller brush. And now I can go back to bigger brush and just wipe out the background completely. Almost done. And that's it. We just isolated this butterfly over the white background. Guys, if you have any questions, please write to me. Put a comment under any of my videos. My name is Ivan, my alias is Dreamframer, and you're gonna find me under this alias on Facebook or Instagram or here on YouTube. I'm gonna do my best to answer all your questions and even to make a video and show you how to do something in Photoshop. Out of these Photoshop tutorials, I'm also making a series of videos on how to sell your photos online, so you can subscribe to my channel and you're gonna be updated with new videos weekly. For now, that's it and see you in the next video, bye!